Welcome to the demo of my game Star Tank. Um, start off in the menu here where we have a few different options. We'll start off with a single player because that's the easiest one to film. So the single player select, selection screen allows you to pick different levels or pick up from where you left off, which in this case will be the first level because there's only one level. Um, the single player works in an objective based scenario which is um, managed through a quest manager which is then linked into the game mode to tell um, the game mode when it's finished or if there's a new quest. There's four types of um, objectives which such as um, enemy objectives so you've got to take out an enemy, a capture point which is similar to the multiplayer game mode and a destroy to target game um, objective which basically tells you to destroy something within the world and there's also a location objective which is basically just go to the location um, in the game mode we also have a um, respawn points which you just saw me activate there which basically changes you where the player will spawn if they die um, with the AI there's a few different ways of them moving the attacking is pretty much all the same throughout um, so there's either a random point um, movement which basically picks a random point through um, an array of targets and there's a path which is pretty much the same as what was done in the tutorial and then there's um, an objective tracker which will get the AI to select a random objective in the map and go towards it which is pretty much similar to the random point but using the catch points um, in terms of the AI perception, I added an extra function um, that wasn't in the tutorials, which basically is the same as a multi-sphere trace but with a shorter range because it felt a bit unrealistic that enemies couldn't see players that were like right next to them. So this is an example of the capture point um, objective, which basically instead of in the multiplayer where it would tell the game mode that the point's been captured, it's instead telling the quest manager that an object, objective has been complete. Um, this next one is a um, destroy objective, which basically the player just needs to destroy it and um, that objective is complete. Now we have um, the level complete screen, which basically either gives it player the option to replay the mission or to go back to the menu or go to the next mission, but there isn't a next mission for this one. So the multiplayer will start off with the capture points. Um, the men multiplayer menu has um, three options um, to use BARTs, which map to make, to use, or and which game mode to use, which is all selected in the order there. And you can also add players in by pressing start and then choosing the name, which then adds the players to an array of players in the game instance. You saw there we have a um, respawn menu which basically just allows the players to select the class before telling the game mode to spawn the player. That's called the start of the game and also undead. Um, here you can see the capture points working. Um, so when, um, the player inter when the player first interacts with the capture points, they can uh, see the game mode time. Uh, Catch point is about to be taken um, and bring up an announcement for the player. Um, it also continues to the same. Um, catch point has been taken to update the UI. And then once it's been complete, um, it'll send off another event saying this point has been um, captured. It'll also add that to an array inside the game mode so that um, the player can, players can get points from the catch points that they've captured. <laughs> so there, there's a AI working on that, which is, like I said earlier, um, objective tracking now. So it'll pick a random event on the map and go to it. And also, whilst um, the catch points are being taken, or at least this game mode, um, it'll do a spear trace every so often to see if um, the player is in range of them. 
and if it is, it'll go towards the plane and use that as a target. The actual radius that it uses to detect um, the plane is for um, actually increases with more. So with just so I captured what um, when it's nearly complete, the AI is pretty much going to um, go towards the player straight away. There's an example of the player dying in the respawn screen. So what that will do is um, when the player dies, it'll go tell the controller to um, create their respawn screen. And they want to um, play as it will then say um, send a signal to the game mode. That was an example of um, which See in the top right, and um, the radar. Um, the beginning on the last semester, we were working to protect it for this semester. I think we did. And radar is quite tricky to implement, but also show where enemies are, which includes the players. As you can see there. There was a problem with the um, here where players could instantly take ca recapture a fix um, in the latest version after this. So you can see here, see here the level complete screen which shows the multiplayer leaderboard and it will also tell you which player has won with the most points. And when the player that does then go to the main menu it will save the scores to the um, save data and sort them in order of score which we'll, we'll show you later on the leaderboard. The next game mode was the deathmatch. Um, as you can see there it uses a scroll button to Side the game mode. There are two versions of deathmatch, team deathmatch and normal deathmatch, but they're both pretty much the same game mode, especially with two players. The only difference is if um, there's four players, it would sort them into two teams with blue and red.
was Team Deathmatch, as well as only having two teams of blue and blue and red with two players on each team. You could also opt in like the red player start with Team Deathmatch would start with 18 tickets, whereas um, the, this Deathmatch starts with 8. That's just the news. <laughs> see the blue team one with more kills so here so the next bit to show you is the leaderboard which like I said earlier sorts sorts players according to score which that's not showing properly which I thought it did no here, here we go so here we have the options um, so we have a few different settings including like the generic like full screen windowed or Resolutions, but we also have volume settings and the controller dead zone. Um, the music volume there didn't really work because um, I didn't couldn't find any music that I could use for the project. But you can see the leaderboard sorted in order of score. So um, just saying thank you for watching the demo. Hopefully, hopefully I explained everything as well as I could. But yeah, thanks for. Thanks for watching.